Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to make a short video talking about the cost of eSignal because I've recently gotten a lot of questions both here on YouTube and on social media um, from people just kind of inquiring uh, how much does it exactly cost? Because if you go to eSignal's website, you'll see that it does say it's $160 a month for eSignal signature, which is what I'm using. Uh, and I made a video about this in the recent past uh, comparing eSignal to TC2000 in which I went over the cost. Um, so back then I was just trading equities. So in fact, I was only paying 160 a month for the eSignal signature subscription and then another $30 a month for live data. Um, so if you are only trading equities, that remains the same. Uh, so in other words, you'd be paying $190 month to month. Um, however, if you do annual prepay, as you can see here, you will save 25%. So in other words, if you pay for the entire year up front, then you're going to save 25% off of this 160 a month, uh, basically off of only the, the, uh, subscription cost to e-signal signature, you won't save that 25% on the live data. So with the $30 for equities, live data, and uh, the 25 percent savings basically that comes out to about 150 a month uh, if you're paying month to month it comes out to 190 a month you'll notice here though that they are raising their fees a little bit starting on january 1st of 2019 so uh, if you are going to get e-signal uh, e you might want to look at doing that before they raise their fees um, however, since then, um, I've gotten e-signal again, of course, and uh, now I'm actually trading options and equities. And so that meant that I had to add uh, more to my e-signal package. And that's really where e-signal um, starts to get expensive is when you start adding all of these, uh, these add-ons. So I took a screenshot of basically my account. I've actually since went ahead and did the annual prepay to take advantage of that 25% savings on the e-signal signature subscription. But everything else you see in here, you don't get that 25% savings by paying annually. It's only on the signature package. So you'll see here eSignal Signature 160. Uh, this is when I was just doing month to month. Uh, so that would actually be uh, $40 off, um, basically, is what that would come out to. Um, and then the rest of it would all be the same. So if you were just trading equities, you would have to have the New York Stock Exchange. So that's $10. You have to have the NYSE American, that's another $10, and you have to have NASDAQ Level 1, that's another 10 So that all in, that's $30 for live data um, with the 160 month to month, that comes out to $190. Uh, if you're going to be trading options, you have to add the option subscription fee, so that's another whopping $70 a month right there. And then you have to have the live data for options, this Opera Stock Options here that's $10. So, I mean, that adds an extra $80 just to be able to have, you know, options data and options charts and options chains within eSignal. So it definitely adds up to be quite a bit. Um, if you are paying, I calculated it uh, paying annual. So taking advantage of that 25% savings on the eSignal signature and uh, with all of the data and the option subscription uh, annually, it comes out to two hundred and thirty dollars a month is basically what I'm what I'm paying for eSignal. Uh, if you were to do that month to month, I think it would be about two seventy a month. So it's a it's a decent savings if you go ahead and uh, pay annually. But I just wanted to be clear that the only the only thing you're saving that twenty five percent on is the signature subscription. You're not saving that twenty five percent on any of the live data. And you're also not saving it on this option subscription fee right here. Um, I know my mentor Pat uses Dash Trader to initiate his uh, options trades through interactive brokers. So what he's actually done is he just uses the options charts from Dash Trader since he needs that platform uh, for trading anyways. Um, but you know, if you don't want to use Dash Trader, if you want to integrate everything into eSignal because you can trade with an e-signal and if you're going to be trading options you'll have to get this option subscription fee uh, and the opera stock options so it definitely uh it definitely starts to add up as you can see by the time you start adding on all of this data uh, one thing you won't see in here is level two data so if you wanted to have level two and time and sales within your platform here on e-signal i believe that's another 25 dollars a month for that 
So uh, definitely, um, hopefully this will help you guys out because I know it is a little confusing talking about how much eSignal actually costs because uh, it's not really straightforward when you just go to the website and you see 160 bucks a month. It's actually going to be more than that by the time you add on all of the data and add on services that you may require. Um, also keep in mind that there is a one-time $25 activation fee when you first get eSignal. Uh, it is just a one-time fee. But uh, that's another fee that you do have to be aware of. All right, guys, hope you found the video uh, useful. If you have any questions, post below. Hopefully I was able to answer all of those questions in this video. And uh, take care. We'll see you in the next one.